to upload pictures in MATLAB and to use them as vectors, you want to first navigate to the home page. Click on computing resources and you'll see three files that are under the MATLAB code section and all three of these are used to upload pictures to MATLAB, put them in vector form, and start playing around with pictures as vectors. So you want to copy this line of code that says grab code and you want to move over to your MATLAB window click on the little box here and paste this in this is the command this is the MATLAB command line these two double uh, little arrows and you want to paste in the line that says grab code that will open up a little window it's called a, called a text editor and this will be where you will do um, your editing of these files if you want to change numbers and things and you'll in particular one of the first things you will have to do is to change this line to the name of the directory where your pictures live my pictures live in this directory. If you want to upload your own pictures, you can change this directory to the directory in which they live, and you'll be able to upload your own. There we go. So let's save this as, what do we call it? Loadpix.m. And let's hit, hit return. We already have something in there and called load picks and we're going to replace it. You will not have that um, feature. You can close that and we'll go over and do the same thing for the other two files. You can click, copy, and paste. This directory Notice here that this is the current directory that we're in, the current folder, and you, this, you can see the contents of this folder in this window where, and in particular, there are several JPEGs that we will upload in a moment. The first thing you want to do after you've installed the three programs is to run the load fix program. It will produce a number of variables over in the right hand column, one of which is called A, and you can see that it has 11 columns in it, but each column is actually a picture, and you can index it using this, these braces. So if you want to look at what picture it is, you can do an image on first picture. You'll see me being silly. Um, and so on. What we'll do though is pass these pictures into the C vector um, command. Actually the, the, the components of A have already been fed into a matrix M. So an the M is 3600 by 11, so it's very tall. And the first column is a, is a vector of 3600 numbers. And that's exactly how many numbers are in the picture that we just saw. And so, if, indeed, if we were to... Actually, wait, that's, that's far fewer, I guess. That's far fewer number. 3600 is... A, is there are 3600 numbers. There are 30, there are 3,600 numbers in each column of the matrix M, which represent a compressed version of the image that we just saw. So if we type the command C vector, and we pass to that command the first vector of M, we should see a highly compressed version of the picture that we just saw, and that is indeed it. 
the numbers you see in the background, you can suppress those by tapping or typing a semicolon at the end. There we go. So that's the, some of the first things you'll do is actually look at your vectors. The next thing I'd like you to do is create a new vector. Let's call it V and it's going to be say 0.2 times the first column plus say 0.3 times the second column plus, I don't know, plus 0.5 times the third column and so on. And the key thing here is you can't make these numbers all too small or all too big or else you, you won't be able to see the resulting vector, but you can still do it mathematically. It's just you won't be able to see it again. So nevertheless, let's stop here. So we're going to add the first five pictures into a vector. Now what pictures did we add? So we added this picture and we added this picture. So it's all me just doing sort of moving around a bit. Now, now let's make a new matrix in which is the first three, let's say the first five columns of M together with this new thing that we created, this linear combination of the first five columns of M. And let's do uh, an RREF of N, and let's call that something, let's call that RREFN. And it might take a few seconds, but not very long. Um, actually, no time. And let's let's look at the first few columns of this matrix. Notice that you'll see all ones, and you'll see that. So, which um, uh, on the first five columns, and it suggests that this where that this vector is, is a linear combination of n. Notice if we happen to add another thing, another vector called, that was random, a random vector in the same size. If we did, if we did that, now what are the, do you think that that random vector is going to be a linear combination of the first five vectors? and from what you can see in the last column, no should be the obvious answer. So this is what I would like you to do first.